Blessed be. I'm Lady Amaris and welcome to the Circle of Hecca. The Circle of Hecca is a coven of witches and we are dedicated to the spiritual advancement of life and, the, and to help people along the way, along their spiritual path. So why these videos? Well, a couple of years ago, I started modifying my Outer Court. Now, the Outer Court is a series of lectures that, we, that um, covens give to people from the Outer. So it comes from uh, an English kind of uh, royalty idea of an Outer Court being those who weren't of, you know, in the Inner Court close to royalty. So the Outer Court is uh, a series of lectures that uh, are about understanding what witchcraft is and um, getting a bit of an understanding of that and also uh, what the coven is all about, um, depending on what coven it is. So it's a chance for people who are seeking to find out if this is actually the path that they are looking for um, and also if a, if a coven is for them and if also that coven is for them. So in the course of myself making these uh, these lectures a little bit more uh, palatable, um, not only for myself, for, for teaching, but for, for people who are coming in, new people who are coming in. I became aware of the fact that people learn in different ways. Not everyone is able to learn from a book. Not everyone has access to books. Not everyone has access to a coven. Many people may live in areas that are not accessible to those things. So videos of this kind are an untapped wealth of knowledge. So these series of lectures will be forming part of my outer court, so little snippets, as well as little snippets from my first degree training. Again, it's not everything, but it's something. And if you are in a remote part of the country, you may not have access to books or coven this will be of great help, I hope. Now, everything that I say in these videos and to come, I want you to not take as gospel, okay? Don't believe everything I say. There's a quote from Aristotle, and he says that the measure of a advanced mind is someone who can entertain an idea without either rejecting it or accepting it straight away. So that's what I want you to do. I want you to look at the idea, look at the material that I'm talking about and analyse it, take it on board. If it doesn't work, fine. If it does, perfect, great, use it. But I don't want you to use emotion to be your indicator of what is good information and what is not good information. Because you may find you have an emotional reaction to something that you know deep down is actually correct. but it challenges your perceptions at that time. So please, think about what I'm going to say in the subsequent videos. Take it on board if you wish, reject it if you want. Makes no difference to me. I am not speaking for all witches. I am speaking for the circle of Hecker. So what we do in our videos, how we explain things and how we do things, is how the circle of Hecker does these things. Not all witches in the universe, in the globe, not also not witches from the southern hemisphere, which is from where we hail. So the things that we do, the explanations we have, the way we do things are how the circle of Hecker do them. If they do not correspond with what another witch does, that's fine, and again, I'm not speaking for all witches. So, now, what are we going to learn? Great question. We are going to learn about the occult, about witchcraft. So let's, uh, let's take the uh, first part of the intro for this, um, for this lesson, for this intro. It had occult knowledge apocalypse. So what does that mean? It sounds a little spooky, but let's break it down. Apocalypse 
comes from the Latin apocalypto, which means to reveal, to make um, that was unseen, make it seen. So that's basically what it means. Apocalypto means revealing. And it's been said that we live in apocalyptic times. So we live in revealing times. So the secrets that were once hidden are now being revealed. Some not quite, others out there for all the world to see. So it is a time of those secrets being revealed. Now a cult. A cult isn't really what you think it is. A cult is comes from occultare, meaning hidden, hidden from plain sight, hidden from the eye. So you have a cult, meaning to hide, to keep secret, and then you have apocalypse, which means to reveal. So that is what is hidden knowledge revealed. Simple. Occult knowledge, hidden knowledge is basically about power. It is about having power over another. So it's about creating a power differential. Those who have power, who have knowledge, have power over someone who does not have knowledge, does not understand what it is that they are getting themselves into, so to speak. So let's talk about it in a mundane way. We have what's known as the stock market. Now, if you have something that's called insider trading, that means that someone on the inside has information that others do not, which means they can profit from that information. So that is occulted knowledge, hidden knowledge from everyone else, meaning that they have power over those others. They can profit from them. They can rise up through the ranks. So occult knowledge, that which is hidden, now being revealed. So I hear you say, you're a coven. What about your oaths? What about your secrets? Well, let me just say, I will not be revealing any of my oaths or secrets. But there is so much that I can reveal. There is so much that is out there already that when you think about it, those secrets are already there. You just have to search for them and find them. There is a quote from Doreen Valiente. Little sympathy can be given to secrecy that only serves to keep occult knowledge as the privilege of a chosen few. It must not be used as a tool for the manipulation of others. And you also have a quote from Alex Sanders, who uh, founded Alexandrian Witchcraft. He said, you can reveal it all, you can say it all, and still reveal nothing. So again, as I said, the answers are out there, the secrets are out there, you just have to find them. And my job is to try and help you find them. I won't give you all the answers, but I will point you in the right direction. So again, what are we going to learn? Well, of course, we're going to learn about witchcraft. It's called the craft of the wise. Now, wisdom comes from knowledge applied. So the craft of the wise is applying the knowledge. What's known as an armchair witch, or even an armchair occultist, someone who has a lot of books, has a lot of knowledge, but doesn't actually do anything with that knowledge. When you're a witch, and when you start on this path, there is a price for knowledge, and that price is to give back. What you know and what you've learned, you need to then teach others and help them, okay? Not everyone is going to understand what you're saying, and not everyone is going to be conducive to teaching, but you still need to put it out there. Can you be responsible for yourself? A witch is responsible for themselves. They understand that what they do, how they think, how they act, how they feel, brings about and manifests things in their life. So if their life is just a big pile of 
cheered. Then you can pretty much gather that internally inside, it's a big steaming pile as well. So what's on the in is also what's on the outer. So to be a witch, you must be responsible for yourself. Don't blame others for your um, problems. Now, with any occult practice, many people are drawn to it, like moths to a flame. That bright light of occult wisdom just attracts many people. Many, unfortunately, are of the lunatic fringe. There are a small percentage of people who will go through the process, who will learn, who will change themselves and come out the other side. There are two types of people, those who will do the work and those who will not. There is no magic spell, there is only work, the process. So through these series of videos, we will be going through the process. We will be stripping back the layers, finding out what's underneath, not only ourselves, but also magic, witchcraft, the occult. What is underneath? Why does it work? And then how can we apply that to our lives? Now the next series of videos will be starting at the beginning. Every witch needs to start at the beginning. And the biggest part in your path is cleaning. Cleaning out your life, cleaning out your house. So we will be starting with cleaning the temple. It is a holistic approach of mind, body and spirit. I look forward to seeing you the next video. My name is Lady Amaris. Merry meet, merry part, and merrily meet again. Bless you.